What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So this will be the recap for Chucky Season 2, Episode 5. I believe this episode was titled Doll on Doll. If I'm wrong, you can correct me down in the comment section, but I believe that's what it's called. Doll on Doll. Doll on Doll starts with Buff Chucky showing Nice Chucky all the weapons he has. So it's picking up right where the events of Episode 3 left us when with with him entering that room before you know episode four was tiffany centric picking up with those two buff chucky again is showing nice chucky all the weapons he has and how he wants to talk about how he wants to kill lexi devin and jake and then nice chucky's kind of going back and forth with him talking about how those are his friends stay away from them nice chucky says don't you mess with those kids buff chucky says this knife here will make devin scream a particular knife he shows him and nice chucky ends up attacking buff chucky and the two start fist fighting now this sequence is one of the wacky things i was talking about it's funny but it's like okay certain things when in regards to the wackiness i mean we've of course already seen chucky masturbate <laughs> this isn't anywhere near as wacky as that but treat it with some seriousness i would say it's a funny sequence and i don't mind it and i'm glad it did not go on too long but it's like okay D that's one of the things i'm like okay dial dial that back i want some seriousness going into season three i want them to focus more on that and less on the wacky stuff but it was a very entertaining sequence uh that ultimately led to nice chucky winning because jake wants to help nice chucky from outside on the other side of the door because him and devin are watching again from the other side nice chucky ends up getting the upper hand against buff chucky and pins him to the office door with knives before walking out to jake and devin devin still seems skeptical of nice chucky and tries to convince jake that there is no such thing that nice chucky exists he's saying that nice chucky is still chucky devin reminds jake that chucky killed trevor but jake reminds devin that nice chucky didn't kill those people it was another version of chucky jake waltz off with nice chucky and father bryce catches devin in the in the office with buff chucky so he gets in trouble thinking that he had something to do with pinning buff chucky to the wall like that we then jump to Nadine, who was shown in her and Lexi's room, cleaning up the mess Trevor's body left behind. Nadine asks Lexi if they should bury Trevor. Nadine notices Lexi is acting stressed and says she is worried about her. Lexi storms off after her anxiety kicks in and takes some drugs to cope. Nadine comes into the restroom where Lexi ran off to and tells her if she doesn't stop this, then she's going to die. Nadine tells Lexi about her mom and how she struggled. It seems like her mom was a drug addict. And Lexi ends up embracing Nadine in tears after hearing about the story from inside the stall. And the two just share a heartfelt moment. Lexi decides to flush the rest of the drugs down the drain with Nadine watching her in support. And I really love this bond and this arc that they have going on with Nadine and Lexi and how she is so important to Lexi's growth and her overcoming what she's going through. We then jump to Glenn interrupting Tiffany to tell her she has a murder problem. Tiffany is upset at Glenn for betraying her by helping Nika escape. Glenn asks who is Nika and Tiffany says that was her girlfriend. Obviously a lie. <laughs> Glenn yells at her to stop lying to them. Tiffany says she'll talk when Glenn reveals where Glenda took Nika. Then we jump back to Incarnate Lord. Lexi and Nadine go to their room and think someone is in their closet, so they approach it ready to attack, but the closet is empty and Trevor's body is gone. Jake is cleaning up Nice Chucky in his bedroom. Jake asks what it was like when he killed Buff Chucky. Nice Chucky says this is this is obviously where some weird things might be going into people's heads, people's heads as they watch. Nice Chucky says it felt like he finally knew what he was for, because Jake even looks at him kind of funny, like, what are you talking about, bro? Then we jump back to Nadine and Lexi, who come to Jake's room to tell him Trevor's body is gone. They wonder who took Trevor's body. Nice Chucky says maybe it was an enemy. Father Bryce talk or takes Devin to the church to talk about his misbehavior. He tells him to open the Bible to Leviticus and read it. Father Bryce goes to the office where Buff Chucky is hanging and asks the nuns who should they blame for this. Sister Catherine is called out before he jumps to Dr. Mixter to blame him or to blame her, I meant to say. Sister Catherine interjects and scolds uh, Father Bryce to remind him that Devin is traumatized. She walks off after further asserting she isn't here to please Father Bryce. Father Bryce considers sending Devin to a different facility away from Incarnate Lord. Sister Ruth throws Buff Chucky in the trash. Devin rips Bible pages out that shame homophobe or sh shame uh, hom homosexuals, gay people, before throwing the Bible across the room in anger. Tiffany is shown interacting with Meg and Glenn at her Beverly Hills house. Meg asks about Glenda's whereabouts. Meg seems to be catching on to the fact that Jennifer isn't herself. Tiffany runs off because she's about to be caught in a lie as an imposter. 
Tiffany goes upstairs and it's revealed she kept the Tiffany doll from C to Chucky. Thus, it's revealed that Jennifer Tilly is still alive. So she, she's been alive this whole time. Jennifer has been working to help Tiffany pretend to be her by answering fan mail, pay bills, and now she needs help to convince Meg that she really is Jennifer. Devin goes to meet up with the girls and Jake. Nice Chucky says he hopes they find Trevor. Devin yells at Nice Chucky about all the crimes he's committed related to his mom and Jake's family. Nice Chucky runs off sad and Devin comments or runs off sad about Devin's comments. Jake goes to comfort the doll in the bathroom and explain to Nice Chucky that Charles Lee Ray was a bad man who split his soul into pieces and that's why Nice Chucky exists. Jake tells Nice Chucky he wants him around because he believes he is good. You don't see all on that last. Lexi talks to Devin about the tension between him and Jake. Lexi reminds Devin that Chucky screws everything up. Devin says he just doesn't want Jake to get himself killed. The cell phone Chucky had rings and they go through these pictures of cut up parts of a doll is leaving in the woods. Nadine and Devin are, hold, are holding a baptism from nice chucky in the church devin and lexi look on in disgust before storming off realizing they are on their own sister ruth notices the trash buff chucky is in starts to move and she holds a cross up buff chucky gets up out of the trash and says he is risen sister ruth thinks chucky is god and asks how she can serve him tiffany walks downstairs ready for dinner with meg and glenn tiffany pretends to have memories of jennifer's youth but meg tells her she just recited the plot of the blues brothers which means jennifer lied to tiffany tiffany walks back into where jennifer is being held hostage but Glenn and Meg walk in. Jennifer begs her sister for help, and of course, Meg doesn't instantly believe this doll is her sister. Tiffany kills Meg in front of Glenn and Jennifer. Glenn asks who Tiffany is, and Tiffany admits she's not Jennifer Tilly, but they are Glenn's mother. Tiffany tries to explain everything to Glenn, but Jennifer keeps interrupting, so she gets rid of her. Glenn is upset because Tiffany lied to them since they were little. Tiffany admits she hates herself, but Jennifer Tilly is a movie star. This is a nice moment that again highlights Tiffany was always trying to run away from herself. Tiffany gives Glenn the original shit face doll, and Glenn's soul used to occupy with Glenn and Glenda. Glenn goes to get Glenda so they can see this doll. They set the Beverly Hills house on drive off with Glenn doll and Jennifer in the back seat. Devin and Lexi go to the woods location from the cell phone and find several dead Chuckies with body parts held up on the sticks in some ritual like way. They stumble onto a cabin where Andy can be seen alive revealing he's alive too. Dr. Mixter is revealed to be in cahoots with the Colonel and the Colonel is revealed to be another Chucky doll as many of us had expected. That is Chucky episode 5. Again, it's a lot more eventful and a lot more fun to watch compared to episode 4. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.